Earthquakes have become more common in Texas in the past decade, and the scientists don't know why. Western Texas rattled by dramatic spike in earthquakes. And it's not just Western Texas, it's also Oklahoma, Kansas area. The strange thing about Kansas, which is not far from Texas, basically the same area, is that they've also had tremendous explosive boom sounds and we've already established, looking into that, that they have found, recently found, three ancient volcanoes there on the northwest part of Kansas, explosive volcanoes, kimberlite volcanoes, which produce diamonds. And uh, we've already learned from past videos recently posted that, that I recently posted having to do with gas emissions, having... Uh, to travel up from mantle plumes underneath and uh, uh, creating these explosive sounds. These gas bubbles are miles wide and they have some need to come up and relieve the pressure and that's what's causing the booms in most cases. So the Kansas booms can be uh, explained by the volcanoes that have been recently found even though they're ancient volcanoes. They're explosive, kimberlite, and they produce diamond and uh, gems and semi-precious stones. Now concerning Texas, we know there's a tremendous amount of fracking going on in Texas. A new study reveals that there's been a, an upturn, an uptick in the earthquakes hitting western Texas since 2009 in the past 10 years. The analysis of the earthquake data from the University of Texas Institute for Geophysics, UTIG, found that 10 years ago there were 19 earthquakes of at least magnitude 1 in West Texas. One, uh, 19 earthquakes, but in 2017 there were more than 1,600 earthquakes of magnitude 1 or greater. So you can see the huge difference from 19 to 1,600 a, few, a, a new earthquake monitoring system called TexNet, established in 2017. Experts are unable to determine, though, what exactly the earthquake swarms, uh, when, they st when these swarms began. Now, the team believes the tremor upturn could have something to do with oil and gas drilling, fracking, that is, and with production jumping in the reign of 2010's production, in the Permian Basin alone has increased by 71% since 2018, according to Chevron. But there's not enough data to support this, as far as UTIG claims. Uh, it's not the only place that has an upturn in, uh, an uptick in earthquake activity from fracking. That's usually the way it goes. Anywhere you have fracking, you have an uptick in the frequency and the magnitude of the earthquakes. Not only in fracking, but also having to do with geothermal plants as well. The same thing goes there. Now the study author Cliff Froelich said, especially for these West Texas earthquakes, we would like to get some information about when they started. The co-author of the study, Southern Methodist University Associate Professor Heather Deshawn, claims that West Texas now has the highest seismicity rates in the state of Texas. And what remained uncertain was when the earthquakes actually started. The Peter Hennings, uh, Peter Hennings of Center of Integrated Seismic Research concluded that the obvious next step is exactly when the University of Texas, uh, what are they they're doing conducting these careful studies on relationship between earthquakes and human activity as opposed to natural causes. Now, there are a lot in the uh, UK having the same problem. They believe that the oil and gas drilling caused swarms of tremors in Surrey. And uh, then they claim that it was not the case. All right. Between April 2018 and 19, 168 small earthquakes struck Surrey. And the oil companies have been searching for fossil fuels beneath the surface of a spate of locations there. 
and that started in 2016. Imperial College London, British Geological Survey BGS and University of Bristol said that uh, since because two years had passed since oil extraction began, the drilling was not to blame. The study focused on seismic readings, also stated the earthquake swarms was too far away from the site for it to have caused tremors. And the team found that earthquakes were about two and a half kilometers deep, while the oil extraction at that depth is only one kilometer. And they also claimed that the earthquakes are more than three kilometers from the extraction site. The lead author, Dr. Stephen Hicks, says the quakes seem to have occurred naturally, and our findings suggest that the closeness to oil extraction sites is probably a coincidence. It would be unprecedented for this type and scale of oil extraction to affect sites more than a kilometer away. The quakes seem to have occurred naturally, and our findings suggest the closest to oil extraction site is probably a coincidence. Well, we've already found that uh, fracking does cause earthquakes to be a little bit further off, depending on the weakness of the area. It doesn't have to be in the exact area of the fracking. But anyway, this is still a study that's going on, and of course they have to find out what is causing all these earthquakes. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.